Hi, this is Ilka Moore from CDLC. What I'd like to do today in this video is to show you how to import and upload a compound object with transcripts. With compound objects, um, ContentDM requires that each um, compound object is in its own folder. Single items, you could put as many single items as you wanted to into a single folder, but a compound object requires that each individual one is put into its own folder. Within that folder, there needs to be at least one subfolder, and that one subfolder will contain your archival files. The second folder, uh, in, in the case of the way I've structured it, have my text files, and the third folder has my JPEGs. I've generated JPEGs at the same time that I've um, scanned for the, the and created the TIFFs. You do not have to have um, the folder with the JPEGs. Uh, Content DM can generate JPEGs or JPEG 2000s from your TIFF if you want to have your workflow um, be that way. However, even if you only have TIFFs and your uh, text files with your transcripts, you may need to have at least one folder, um, subfolder in here to separate the text files from the TIFF files. I like um, to have this kind of setup so everything's very clear. Once you've set, oh, excuse me, let me say one other thing that's very important here. The other important factor in setting up compound objects when you have the transcripts with them is that the um, file names for the transcript, the text files, and either your JPEGs or your um, TIFFs, or both, um, have to have the same um, name before the file extension. So in other words, this file name, VYD00101-PG1, and its extension would be um, TXT because we're in the text file, has to be the same as this JPEG that I'm going to be using. This is how ContentDM associates the text file to the correct image file. Okay. Now, opening up content, uh, content DM's project client, I have created um, a project folder called test. What you need to do the minute you make a new folder in the project client is to go to edit metadata template right here, go into the project template general, click on edit, go down and make sure, since I've already used this folder before, it's already set up, that my file name metadata field has been connected to file name. In other words, ContentDM is gonna pick up the file name for me in this case. I can add other um, metadata in the metadata template if I want to, um, but in this particular case, I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm gonna click on OK. I also need to make sure that in my compound object template, I've done the same thing for file name right here and make sure that I've highlighted file name. So that is picked up and click on OK. And again, the compound object template is contains the metadata that goes on your object metadata record. And the project general template is the metadata that goes on your page metadata records. In a compound object, what you're going to have is, say for the example that we're doing right down here, we have three images make up our compound object. So I'm going to have three page metadata records. On top of that, 
unlike with a single item, I will also have an object metadata record. So I, in the end, I will have four metadata records for this one object. Just giving you another example, if I had a document that I was putting up and it had uh, 60 pages, 60 um, images of the 60 pages that uh, make up that compound object, I would then have 61 metadata records when I was done. Okay, we're going to click on OK here. We're going to add compound object. We're using the compound object wizard. We are only going to be looking at the import object tab. We're not going to be using the map field tab. You only use the map field tab when you are working with uh, tab delimited files. So I'm going to click on add. And we are creating a document. You can also create monographs. Those are documents with hierarchy. However, we are asking everyone not to do this for a while because with the changes in content DM, the items with hierarchy are not displaying correctly right now. They also allow you to do a picture cube and a postcard. However, in reality, these are just the same thing as a document. Document is any number of uh, digital files uh, with no hierarchy. We also are not having the structure and the metadata defined by a tab delimited text file for this particular item. So I'm gonna have no for that. And I'm gonna click on next. I have to browse and find my folder and open up the images folder that I'm gonna use. Those are my JPEG folder. Click on OK. Next. Content DM is asking me, do I want to generate it to generate display images from the items you've just imported. It sort of seems like a trick question because you're thinking, of course I do. But what they're actually asking you here is, um, do you want them to generate JPEG or JPEG 2000s from those images? So if I had opened my TIFF file and was uploading TIFFs, I probably would say yes here. And I would go into image options and set up how I want those TIFFs to be treated, either as a JPEG 2000 or JPEG set the um, resolution, et cetera, that I want. However, <clears throat> I'm uploading JPEGs, I'm fine with them. And so I'm going to say no, and I'm gonna click on next. In this window, we can specify the page names, uh, one way is to use the file names as title, which is not a good idea. Um, these page names that you're creating, do not confuse them with the title metadata field. These are the page names that create the menu on the right hand side of your item. Let me see if I can just show you that quickly. Um, if I go in, And um, I should have had one of these up. Let me just look at this. And I know these are all compound objects. And this is the page menus that you're creating over here. Okay, let me go back to content DM. And what you can do is click on here, which allows you to ignore all the information before an underscore. So an example, if I had, instead of putting a dash, I put an underscore on my file names, I could have used this. But I did not, so I'm going to use label pages using sequence. And let's just show you again what I'm talking about. As you can see here, I did not use an underscore, I used a hyphen. If I had used an underscore here, then I could have used that first 
um, selection and my menus would have been PG1, PG2, PG3. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to label my pages page one, page two, page three. It's asking me if I'm going to import a transcript. I am. I'm going down again to my folder with my compound object. And I'm opening up my text folder. So you can see my three text files and I'm going to say, okay. If you did not have transcripts in this section, you would say no transcripts. And I'm gonna click on next. Here, it's just telling me what I'm creating, um, that I'm importing um, a compound object from a directory, that's a folder. Um, there's three items, how my, my title pages are being um, named. Remember, those are for my menu, not my title metadata. And that I have transcripts from this particular folder. And I'm gonna click on finish. I have no errors, no warnings, and it's three pages, and I click on close. And here is the information that's been created. And at this point, if you wanted to um, add another compound object that's in another folder, you could, and you could just start stacking them up here. I feel that it's probably easier to do it one at a time in case there are any mistakes in the next section. And the next section is when you click on finish and the object, the item, excuse me, I shouldn't say object, the compound object, which is the item has been created and I'm going to click on close. So here is our compound object, our single item. For, and I'll talk about that in just one minute. Let me open this up. The best way to see this is to double click on your thumbnail and view this in spreadsheet. And here is our spreadsheet view. Here are our three pages and this is our object metadata record. And you can tell this by going all the way over to here. Here are the three JPEGs that we uploaded. And this is the default file name for the object record because there's actually no image for that object record. Here are transcripts that have been um, imported and let's go back here. So I'm gonna change the title, CDLC minutes. 1968 and I'm gonna do fill down and I'm gonna put page one, page two and page three. I have the transcript, so I don't really need to put in a description. Um, I probably should on the object. I will fill in all of these pieces of metadata that are required. Okay, and what I'm scrolling for here, I have to have the identifier. So I had One, that was what I had from that. Make sure that every item, every file in this, every, I should say actually, uh, metadata record has that, um, excuse me, I've just, I've just made a mistake. So let me put it over here and I put it here for the identifier. And the collection ID is going to be that, sorry about that. And I'm gonna make sure that that's filled down. And right now I'm not doing the correct write statement, but obviously you need to go to writestatement.org, um, decide on whether this is in copyright or not in copyright, um, or you 
don't have any idea. Right now, I'm just going to put rights here because I do have to have something in my rights statement to upload. So I'm going to do fill downs just so I have something in there. And I have file names. They're all in there. So those are the fields I have to have in all of these. I'm going to save and close. Now, to fill out the rest of the metadata, it's probably better for me to um, work in this area, because as you can see, if I go down to, say, Library Council, my Library Council's come up, and I can put that one in. If I go up to Physical Format, again, my control vocabulary for that field comes up, and I'm not sure whether this is letters, minutes, um, meeting minutes. Okay, so I've filled out a few more. I'm going to save here items for um, my particular compound object. I'm not going to complete filling this in, but you can go down and, and do this as you go along. And I'm going to close that, and here's my item. And it's telling me that um, the VYD001 is not in my control vocabulary. And that is because this is the first time I'm adding an item um, into that new uh, collection. And I probably should give this collection a name right now. Let me just put, put that one in digital collection. Let me. I'm just going to name it that for right now, okay? And I'm going to click on the item and upload for approval. Over here on the lower left-hand corner, you can see that everything's working. It's been uploaded. And so now I need to go up and to Content DM admin page. I've already opened that up. You could have uh, gone to that by going to administration, content DM administration, but I have this open already. And let me refresh. And here we have, we have one pending item. I have two control vocabulary terms. Now, this is very important. I am not using the full approval queue action section. If I do that, these two new control vocabulary terms will not be approved. They will not go into my control vocabulary list for the two fields. I have to use the detailed approved queue action section. And notice, I have a new collection ID that needs to go into that field. And I have a new digital collection term for that control vocabulary list. And I created both of them. I'm happy with them. I'm going to add all. Once I've done that, still in the detailed approved queue action, I'm going to select my one item and click on approve. When you are uploading um, an item to the New York Heritage site, it is a two-step process. You have to approve and then you have to index. So here I am in indexing. I always use the immediate indexing section and I'm going to index now. I don't know how long this will take. We'll give it a couple minutes to see. Um, once your item has uh, completed indexing, you can go and click on view collection and see how the item is displaying. If you have any questions about how to upload a compound object with a transcript or without a transcript, please contact your CDLC staff um, with any of your questions. We can also, and we'll try to do a video of uploading a compound object with a tab delimited file. You may also upload multiple single items with a tab delimited file. Again, if you have um, 
are interested in doing something like that, contact your CDLC staff um, for more information. Thank you.